honorable colleagues, my name is Alex Mascot Ikweche, and I represent the artisanal people of Upper North and Upper South in this incorruptible assembly. So guys, you are most welcome to this video. That's not the lawmaker where they represent Abia North and Abia South for Federal House of Representatives. This is not the, the lawmaker of Nigeria where in order to and boat driver, a cab driver, taxi driver, go deliver the snail. The Congo meat go give him for a house. And instead, when he go pay the man, the driver, made the driver go, he decided to be assaulting the man, the driver. They give him water, water for a compound, give him several dirty slap, come the threaten and say, he go lock him up for in generator stuff. You see, it will make and disappear from the old Nigeria and nothing will happen. This is not a person when Abia people send, go represent them for Abuja to the make law for Nigeria. Waiting with the offense of the driver, he said the driver no he not respect him. He not respect him. This is too much respect when they give Nigerian leaders. Then they look down on us. This is not the one of the reasons why Nigeria now feel developed. You know, if we move forward. Because people weren't supposed to be our servant, they serve us. No make sure say the country good. Then want me they come they worship them. Okay, if you know if you too day big to go collect what you order from the driver, why are you not go send your servant? You get so many servants, and I know see, some Nigerian police officers where they even send me, they go, they guide you, they give you security. You don't talk them to your house, house boys. So why you not go call one of your police house boy, make you go collect those stuff where you order from the driver? For Nigeria, now we're in security, they're everywhere. You go expect the driver, make you come give you what you order inside your parlor, inside your room. This type of this kind of person must go to jail. Do you know who I am? So you think I will give you my money with the way you have spoken to me? I did a job for you and you have to pay it. Sir. You will not see any, you will not see penny from me. With this level of disrespect, with this level of disrespect, you're very stupid. Very, very stupid. Madam, did you, did, who is this stupid boy that you sent to this my house? Who is this foolish boy that you sent to my house? How can this stupid idiot come to my house and tell me that I'm supposed to come and meet him in, in his car and pick up, and pick up snails that, that I'm buying from you? Rat. I can make this man to disappear in the, in the whole Nigeria and nothing will happen. Can you imagine this rat? I'm not going to give this I'm not going to give this boy one night of my money. No 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 no. I'm not going to give this silly boy one night of my money. And you've been insulting me, sir, and I'm being quiet. I pray that you do. I pray that you insult me. Can you please insult me? I want, I'm not going to call my policeman to beat you up. I will beat you up. I will show you that I'm a big brother to you. I will slap the hell out of you and I will lie you down, lock it in my, in, in, in my generator house. How dare you? Why should you do that? Who the hell do you, do you know who you're talking to? Do you know where you are? Because you saw me sitting outside here. It doesn't matter, sir. Pay me, let me go. I Look at this monkey. I don't care what I am. Are you, wait, are you even looking at me that you can, you can beat me? Or are you looking at me? What, who the hell do you think you're talking to? Do you know who I am? I'm a citizen of this republic. Do you know who the fuck? Do you know who the fuck I am? How dare you? Are you slapping me, sir? You see this place? You suffer. I'll deal with you. Are you slapping me, sir? I just did. Slap me back. Okay. How dare you? 
How dare you? How dare you? That's fine. How da do you know who I am? That's fine. How dare you? Did you did you just slap me three times, sir? Twice. The third one you still you soon receive it. That's How fine. dare you? Come on, get out of this place. I need my payment, sir. Come on, come on. All right, so this is where I am. I just got a, I just got three slap from this man. Here. Just because I told him to come and get his stuff and pay me my money. So he's claiming that Tell he's... Them. My name is Honorable Alex Ikweche. I'm a member of the House of Reps. Tell them I slapped you. Okay. Call the Inspector General of Police. Call, call him. Let him come. Okay. Okay, sir. Record me very well. Record me very well. All right. That's nice. You came to my house to disrespect me. I, eh? I didn't disrespect you. I said pay me my money and let me leave. Come on, give me that phone. Wow. I'm not going to lie. I watched this video with so much emotions, anger, pain, and sadness. Anger because I cannot go there and stand up for that guy. Pain because this is a senator that has been elected in office to stand up for the people. And look at what he's doing to the people. And sadness because this guy will not get the right thing that he deserves. Because of course, this is Nigeria and he's a senator. They will look for every means to sweep this thing under the carpet. But by the grace of God, we will not let it happen. Now, this is a boat driver that went out to look for food for his family. Maybe for his children. Maybe for his mother. Maybe for his sick brother somewhere. Maybe for his father somewhere that might be sick or old or something. And look at the fate that he met. Now, what is his offense? Go back to listening to that video properly. What is his offense? They sent him to deliver snail to this senator and he took the snail there and called him, okay, oh, come and take your snail. And then the next thing he was assaulted because he did not worship or kiss the man's feet. So if they send somebody to deliver something, is he supposed to barge into your house, take it to your upstairs and give it to your give taking it to your room? Now let me let me quote what this man said, and I will have a lot of questions. The first thing he said is, I can make this man disappear in the whole Nigeria and nothing will happen. Again, he said, I won't pay you one naira of my money. Then the probe driver said, you have been insulting me. I have been quiet. Then the senator proceeded by saying, I am not going to call my police to beat you up. I will beat you up and lock you in my generator room. He then proceeded to slap in him while bragging that he's a senator of this republic. Now, the painful part is the woman on the other side of the phone, the woman that he called, the woman that he ordered the snail from, the woman that booked the boat driver to make the delivery. The woman on the other side of the phone, instead of stopping whatever thing that man was doing, instead of telling him that, no, why, have you, why are you abusing this guy? Why are you assaulting him? The woman went on to ask the boat driver that, do you know him? Who is he? Is he not a human being? Then the boat driver then said, I just got three slap from this man because I asked for my money. Then he proceeded by saying, tell them, my name is Honorable Alex Ikweche. I am a member of the House of Reps. Tell them I slapped you. Call the Inspector General of Police. Call him. Call him to come. Now I have a lot of questions. The first question is this. Since he said he can make this man disappear in the whole of Nigeria and nothing will happen, my question is how many people have you made them disappear in Nigeria, in that your house in Mitama? That is the first question. Number two, he then proceeded to say, I am not going to call my policemen to beat you up. So all, the, all your oddly, all your security detailing, you use them to beat innocent people up. He then went on to saying that I will beat you and put you in my generator room. How many innocent Nigerians have you assaulted and put them in your generator room? You will answer these questions. We put you in office. You will answer us this question. Imagine the government of a country. Then the one where can be insult upon injury. He said, I am a member of the House of Rep. Tell them I slapped you. Call the Inspector General of Police. By that means, it means even the IG, even the Inspector General of Police cannot do him anything because he's a senator. Now, this is somebody that has been elected to liberate the people. See what he's doing to the people. So, if the sen if senators and the people that hold power in Nigeria are seeing us, because listen to all the names we call that guy. If they are now seeing us as monkeys, 
rats and every other name that I call that guy. So how are they going to liberate us when they don't see us like human beings? When they don't see us like people that are, that are like them? They don't see us that we have two eyes, two ears, nose and mouth and two hands and two feet. They see us as animals, monkey rats. Imagine how you treat your fellow human being because you are power drunk, because you are in the position. See him. See his face. Honorable member. That's representing Abba. So now, that's representing Abba. So now, if you ask this man now, the projects where this man don't do, you know, forget them. Anyways, um, to the boat driver, before we talk, go far. To the boat driver, I beg, I beg, I beg you with God, reach out to me. I beg, I beg. Now, God, I tell you, beg you, reach out to me. This man will pay for that assault. Forget say you be sending it all. We no care. This Nigeria is for all of us. It's not for you. Nigeria is for all of us. It's not for one person. I will not keep quiet for people like this to be abusing power and oppressing everybody because they are in that position. If that guy decides to retaliate, say, you know, if he beat him. This is the end of the video. See, see, see what he did to the boat. This is where I am. I'm actually with one man. He said he's I got a request to bring delivery to him. As you can see, I don't have a shirt. He shredded my clothes and he slapped me three times. And this is the man seated outside here. He says the senator and that there's nothing I can do about it. My, my phone is broken because I was videoing what he was saying and recording what he was saying. He was trying to drag the phone with me and he broke the phone. Please, all out one member should please come to Maitama. All out one member, please come to Maitama back of uh, farmer's market. I've not even ended the ride. Look at me. This is me here. And this is the man seated. This is my shirt. He just shredded it. And I've collected three slaps from this man. Three good slaps from this man without saying a word. And he can, you can imagine. You, the first video, you, hear all you, you can imagine. Video. Just imagine. Everybody that is an artist. Just imagine. Should please. That guy is even lucky. That guy is even lucky. Anything could have happened. If that man get gone for dead that time for Kara just land that guy, anything could have happened. This is not fair. We cannot have this in Nigeria. Now me go carry this video like this, go show the idea of police. Let him see. Let him see what is happening under his nose. See the way people have been disrespecting the IG. But no wahala, this is our Nigeria. Thank God says in Abuja. When you reach time to march, you go march. And you go learn. And you will learn the hard way. That Nigeria is not for one person. Nigeria is for all of us. Don't play. I beg, boat driver, reach out to me. Peace. Boat driver that was assaulted. So, this is the boat driver that was assaulted by that honorable member that claimed that he's a senator. The reason why I say that claimed that he's a senator because I discovered this morning that that man is not a senator. So, this is the guy that I assaulted. Now, we have seen the video, we saw all what transpired, we saw the horrible things he said to you, we heard him call you monkey, rats, all the derogatory things he said to you. Now the question is, what happened after that video? Please. Okay, so, uh, after the video, mm. he called some police officers, I don't know the division they were assigned to, Okay. and then they bundled me to the station. I wanted to drive the car, they said no, I should not drive. Okay. So one sat beside, two sat beside me and I was in their middle game. And then they drove me down to the station. Okay. They, when they drove me down to the station, they said I should go inside. I was as I had calls. They, they they didn't allow me to take my calls. Okay. So they 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 they, they were not asking what happened. They didn't ask me. They were asking people that were not there, the police officers. And then the police officer quickly said, I went to Honorable South and I was fighting the Honorable. I, I kept mute. Did you show them the video? I have not shown anybody the video as at okay. that time. Okay. They have not even, even the security person that came to bear witness as at that time have not heard, have not seen the video okay. as at that time. Okay. So they now said, they now referred us to crime, that we should go to crime. So we went to crime, the man was not asking what happened. As I was explaining, no, no, I, initially I didn't explain. He, they not, the man now said he cannot actually hear from one side, the other okay. person has to come okay. to actually give his own side of, of the story. story. And then the police officer said, the, when they said I, I fought him, they now said no, they should go and bring the man. Immediately, his, the security man, his security man now called him and they passed the phone to the IPO okay. that was in charge of the case. And then the IPO was now talking to him on the phone and stepped out mm. of the office where we were. And after some time, he came back and said, 
she wants to go and do investigation at the honorable's house okay they and had you left you at the station at, at and the said station. they want to go which station the, was this metama metama police okay, station. so it was it happened this within metama it happened within metama okay so the ipo left you at the station and went, went to, to the honorable's house. house okay and then after they kept me there for over two hours i was i was behind uh i was at the counter i was not detained though they I kept you the behind counter. the counter they kept me behind the counter and then okay. after two hours plus he came back and then he was not like uh why did i record the this thing the the video why did you now change change he, he was not you. trying to change the narrative and i asked him is there a part of the law that says i cannot record what somebody is doing to me he was becoming a threat to me mm. and i had to take evidence so that people will know where by I this am. Well, by this time, was the honorable member there? He wasn't there. He was at home. He was at home. So then I gave me a form to fill, to write my own statement as to what happened. As I was writing, the honorable and I came. And then when he came, he started talking and he was shouting. That even was at the station? Even at the station. He was calling you names? Yeah. Calling me names. Like, I still kept mute and I was looking at him. So my colleagues were talking to him. Me, I've already had my own fair share of trauma. From him. I don't want to actually have any engagement or any encounter with him. I just went to one corner and I sat down and I was listening to everything he was saying. All the names he was calling me, you common boat driver, you a poor man, you have pride in your poor, you have this, you have that. I kept mute. I said, so the problem you have now is a poor man cannot speak that I'm in Nigeria and I shouldn't be treated as a foreigner in this country as I'm, I'm from Delta State and I cannot be treated, I cannot have you treat me like a foreigner in my own now when did you leave the station i left the station at about uh, i think some minutes to three or so where's your car my car is still at the station so the police collected your car they collected my car and you left the station this morning yeah, I left the was the honorable member detained he wasn't detained they let him go they let him go that's really really sad now i want to ask you a question the woman that sent you that message do you know her name i didn't know her name per do you know her business name i don't know her business name it was a request I think I checked from my boat app. I think the last request that came in when I tried calling from the app, it was I think Gloria. Gloria. Yeah. Because she said something in that video. She said something like, "And do you know who he is?" She was also supporting him. That's why I'm asking you that if you know who she is. Now, what did you go and deliver to him? What even really happened? Just give me a brief summary of what happened before that video. Okay, before the video, I actually got a request on boat. Okay. Right? I'd, I was closing already because I needed to resume work this morning at 8.30. Okay. So I was closing at 9.10. I said, let me just quickly go home so that I can, I can have enough rest. So I got this request to Metama. I felt it was a normal request. And then she told me, no, that it's not a request that I'm picking something up from a, from a yes. garden. Okay. Right, from a garden. Around, Which garden? I don't know the name of the garden. She just described the garden that after Kadu roundabout, okay. you will see one uh, orange color container and then there's a garden beside it. Okay. So I just quickly went there, packed. The girl just came without wasting time, brought the package that it's a snail. I snail. Said, okay, snail, yeah. So she dropped it. It was the girl that brought it and dropped it on the seat. She understood that part. Okay. I was like, okay, there's no problem. I'm going. So on getting to the man's house, I called him. Okay, I'm at your gate. You know, I said, okay, I should give it to the security man. They gave it to the security man. The security man explained where the house address is. So I drove down to the house. On approaching, I called the man again. I said, oh God, I'm here. He now said, I'm not here. That if you are here, I will see you. So I drove. He now said, I should park beside one car. When I parked beside the camera, I saw him. I, but I didn't know he was the one. the one. So I saw him seated a few meters away from my car. So I greeted, good evening, sir. He didn't respond. Good evening, sir. He didn't respond. So I presume he is not the one that I, I'm, yes. so, I'm supposed to deliver this thing to. Okay. And since he didn't answer, the next thing is for me to call the person that has this package. The next thing I died, I dialed the person's number. And his phone rang. And then the next thing he was like, are you stupid? Are you mad? Are you a fool? Bring my stuff for me. So I, did, I was not happy at the way he talked to me because I was doing my professional job, right? I was not happy. So I was like, okay, this thing you're saying to me, it has not gotten to eat. Normally, I'm not even supposed to bring this thing to you. You are supposed to come and pick it yourself. Yeah. That was what, that was the only thing that got him angry. You're asking me to come to your car to pick my stuff? Are you okay? Do you know who you're talking to? It's okay. I can see the anger on your face. Don't worry. Um, the truth is that Nigeria is for everybody. Nigeria is not for one person. If yeah, an honorable member will be treating people like this, then just imagine what the president supposed to do. Now, I need to remind you, we are all clamoring for the youth to come to power. See this one, Anna, youth. I always say something. The youth are looking for a better... They are not trying to make this country better, a lot of them. They want to get power to do worse than these people because they have a better way of hiding this evil. 
than these old men in power. But nevertheless, the, the man does not have immunity. I just discovered that he's not a senator. So actually pursue this case. And I believe that the law will take its course. Um, we'll go to, I've heard a lot of things about me that police station, which I'm not going to say. But I believe in the new commissioner of police that have been, that have been moved here, um, commissioner of police Disu. So this case will be reported to him directly. And I believe that the law will take its course. So don't worry. You said you are not feeling well. When he hit me on my chest, severally, he was just hitting me on my chest, and I stayed mute. I was looking at him. So when he was becoming much of a threat to me, it, I, I, initially I did not record because I didn't go there with intention of fighting. If I if I went there with another motive, I would start recording from the very beginning. It was when he was becoming a threat when he said he would pay 50 million naira and then they would delete me and look at me, this cheat. He was just calling me all sort of names. And you he, pay 50 million and they'll delete you. You pay 50 million naira to somebody, to people, and then they will kill me and nobody will say anything. And when I noticed he was, this thing is becoming what I never expected. I quickly brought out my phone and you recorded. And I started recording. Don't worry, we'll go, we'll go and write a petition and we'll take it up. Oh Allah, more they go. A member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Alexei Fani Mascot, Ikuechi, representing Aba North and South Federal Constituency, has allegedly been caught assaulting a bolt driver at his residence in Maitama, Abuja, after the driver reportedly delivered an item to him and asked him to pay. Let's take a look. This rat. I can make this man to disappear in the, in the whole Nigeria and nothing will happen. Can you imagine this rat? I'm not going to give this, I'm not going to give this boy one night of my money. No, 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 no. I'm not going to give this silly boy one naira of my money. And you've been insulting me, and I'm being quiet. I pray that you do. I pray that you insult me. Can you please insult me? I won't, I'm not going to call my policeman to beat you up. I will beat you up. I will show you that I'm a big brother to you. I will slap the hell out of you, and I will lie you down, lock it in my, in, in, in my generator house. You know who the I am? How dare you? Are you slapping me, sir? You see this place? You suffer. I'll deal with you. Are you slapping me, sir? I just did. Slap me back. Okay. How dare you? How dare you? All right, so this is where I am. I just got, a, I just got three slaps from this man. Here. Just because I told him to come and get his stuff and pay me my money. So he's claiming that Tell he's... Tell them. My name is Honorable Alex Ikwechi. I'm a member of the House of Reps. Tell them. I slapped you. Okay. Call the Inspector General of Police. Call, call him. Let him come. Okay. Okay, sir. Record me very well. Record me very well. All right. That's nice. You came to my house to disrespect me. I, huh? I didn't disrespect you. I said, pay me my money and let me leave. All right. Honorable, not so honorable. You are not allowed to assault drivers. Uh, um, Ayo, a quick comment. All right, very quickly, I think it's the audacity of him. And he Even when he knew that he was, yes, that he was being, and this is the picture of a lot of political class and elite in Nigeria. Yes. People suffer in silence. Not everyone has the opportunity to whip out their phones and record encounters. If the fact that he was bold enough to even say he would call his security details, the policeman attacked to him, to assault the man without any reason is a cause for concern. Yes. And so the fact that they'll be willing, now we've seen that happen a lot of times. And I hope that just as in, just a case in the UK, early this morning, an, an MP, Amesbury, was seen to have assaulted someone on CCTV. Immediately, his party suspended him, and they are calling for him to resign. Yes. I hope that his party, Honorable Ikwechi's party, will rise up, and there will be an end to this menace of madness where the political class or the political elite or the elite feel like they can get away with murder, literally, just because they have money and power. How long shall the oppressed in Nigeria continue to be oppressed? This is disgraceful. It's shameful. I hope his party will react. I hope the House will react. Act and really take action against him. Well said, I.